while I was in Kentucky working at State Channel Work, another Myers Productions went on a walk. And we found an AIDS walk. I decided to take my camera, go out amongst the citizens that was on the walk, and ask a few questions. Didn't know what I was going to ask, but I came up with something really quick. And here is my adventure in Louisville, or Louisville, or Louisville, Kentucky. Hey guys, where did AIDS come from? Where did it come from? How was it created? Population control maybe? Where did AIDS come from? Yeah. You're not sure? You should be informed. Sir, sir, are you on the age walk? Are you on the AIDS walk? No, it's a hard walk. A hard walk? Are you on the AIDS walk, ma'am? Are you on the AIDS walk? Yes. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Where did AIDS come from? Um, Yeah. I don't know. You don't know? Well, why not? I mean... I just know that it doesn't discriminate. It doesn't discriminate. It, Do you think so. it was population control by a certain entity? No. Nope. Uh, okay. Thank you. Are you, um, are you videotaping a bit? Uh, I just came down here. I'm from Ohio and I videotape a lot of stuff. Oh, do you? Yeah. I was just wondering what you were... Is, doing it for. Is the news media down here? Yeah. Oh. Um, hi, I'm Heather Bringer. I'm with the, I'm with the ASCC, we're the um, governing body of the wall. But if you actually want to, if you head to the Belvedere, you can meet with the director if you want to. Walking back the wrong way. Uh, no, I'm not. I go against the grain. Here's to me watching you watch them. How you doing? See you on YouTube. <laughs> hey, can I ask you a question? We'll put it on here. Where did AIDS come from? Uh, huh? Where did AIDS come from? You don't know? You think it was a form of population control? You don't think it's a form of population control? I think so. I think so too. Thanks, brothers. Hey, where's the head guy that works? Hey, okay. Um, what's your name and why did you start this? My 
my name is Michael, Dr. Michael York. Um, I'm uh, the executive director of the Louisville Aid Walk. Um, basically, it's a position that you come along, and uh, I've been working in HIV and AIDS for about 20 years. And so, therefore, um, it was just even a natural segue. I've been, uh, I was trained as a psychologist. I have a PhD in psychology. So, um, it was a natural segue that I just went into this. So you really care about what you do? Oh yeah, doing. yeah. I've seen two ways. I was around during the days when it wasn't so pretty. Right. You know, nowadays it's not saying that it's any greater thing now, but back then is before we had the cocktail, before we had the beds, it was really, really a horrible, horrible, sad way to die. Right. So, but now it's a lot. It's not as bad. Uh, you know, it's not not to re say that it's not as bad. It's still bad. But the thing is, is that people are living a lot longer. Right. And that's why we still need this need for fund is because people weren't spent paying to live this long. And people now are living 20, 30 normal lifespans. And therefore, also, additionally, is that a lot of people in the early days sold off their life insurance policy. So with them selling off their life insurance policies, now if something happens to them, they're out, they're out, you know, win. All right. Now, I'm, just correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought I heard a couple weeks ago on the news that some computer programmers deciphered the, uh, the molecules or something like that. Genetic code for the HIV. Genetic code, yes. The genetic code for HIV is very interesting because it is considered a retrovirus, which means every time it replicates, it changes its identity. So it's very hard. It is like a computer virus. It does change constantly. Okay, um, where did AIDS come from? <laughs> it's not as important where it came from as how we deal with it today. And, I mean, there's been suppositions for years. Nobody knows, and it's, it's, a, it's a moot point at this point. All right. Well, one last question that kind of that for that last one led into this one. Do you believe it's a form of population control? No, not uh, at all. Not at all. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate Certainly. it. Certainly. Take care.